So now you know precisely what being ads are, why they matter, and how they work. You also know how to create a PPC campaign generally, and you know how to select the right keywords, etc. What's left? Oh yeah, actually getting started and creating some ad campaigns. And with that in mind, let's launch straight into setting up some campaigns and doing a tour around Bing's options and tools. Before we get started, I'm going to assume that you A, have set up a Bing Ads account, and you can do that by going to secure.bingads.microsoft.com, and then it will redirect you to this page. And then you can sign up using your existing Microsoft account, or you can set up a new one, whichever is most convenient for you. And the second assumption, assumption B, is that you've chosen your keywords using the advice in the previous video. Here's the good news. If you already have a Google AdWords campaign set up, then getting that campaign to work on Bing is very simple. First, head on over to the link on the far right that reads Import Campaigns right here at the top of the toolbar. Click on it and then click here where it says import from Google AdWords. Now click here on sign in to Google, enter your name and password. On the next page, you'll be given the opportunity to select the AdWords campaigns that you want to import. Choose them and then click continue. Now, under Bing Ads account and import options, you'll just need to add a few more settings that are unique to Bing. That means choosing the Bing Ads account you want to import to, choosing the right time zone, and remember that Bing allows more flexibility in this department, choosing the appropriate options under what to import, choosing the options you want for your bids and budget, and now just click import and you're done. Remember we said earlier that the best way to handle Bing Ads was to use them on top of a Google AdWords campaign? Well, this is why it makes a lot of sense to simply import an existing AdWords campaign into your Bing account. Yep, it couldn't be simpler. But if you don't have a Google AdWords campaign, or you want to try something different on Bing, and this is a good place to experiment with different strategies, then you want to click Campaigns and then Create a Campaign. And you can choose between a search campaign or a shopping campaign. Search campaigns show just regular search ads and shopping campaigns will show you products with images in your search ads. So let's uh, have a search campaign. Let's click on that one. Now you'll be asked to give your campaign a name. Uh, automatically it gives it the campaign and then number. I'm gonna leave it at the default setting for this particular demonstration. Then you set your time zone, and uh, having the time zone is very important in Bing ads. Then you set your campaign budget and your bid strategy. Then the language. Then the locations that you want to target or exclude. And you can have all available countries or regions. Uh, because I'm in the UK, it's saying Ireland, United Kingdom, United Kingdom, or selected states, provinces, countries, regions, and postal codes. And then the advanced location options. And this is very, very handy indeed. You can show ads to people in searching for showing interest in your targeted location, people in your targeted location, or people searching for or showing interest in your targeted location. So, for example, you know, you might have someone who's um, looking for a hotel or an amenity in an area that they intend to visit. So you can target them and not people in your local market. So it gives you a lot of flexibility there. Scroll down a bit more and you come here to create an ad. Now you want to create an ad. And first of all, you decide on your ad type and your ad title. Now, the ad title is the headline. And as you remember, we discussed earlier, the headline is not designed to get the maximum number of clicks, but rather to get the right kind of clicks. Then you want to have your ad text. 
which is just going to you know, give your ad a bit more detail. And underneath, you're going to put your display URL. Now, if your destination is a very long URL, then you can simply use this uh, as um, a permalink, or you can use uh, the root location, or you can use the actual URL. It, it's up to you. You also want to set the landing page. It can be the final URL, or it can be a destination URL, and you can put all the information in here. You know, for example, you want um, a mobile URL, etc. And all the way along, there are these little um, learn more question mark bubbles. If you click on those, it gives you a lot of information about how the whole site works. Headlines are 25 characters. Add text is 71 characters. Further down the page is where you'll be given the option to choose your keywords, set keyword bids, and then verify activation. Meaning you set the method of payment and also you'll click that you want the ads to go live. Now refer to the last video for more on selecting the right keywords. You'll be able to choose a bid for each keyword. So you might decide that some keywords are worth more to you than others. And this is very good news because it means you can pay very little for those more obscure keywords that would only get you a few clicks, but that likely wouldn't be very expensive due to a lack of competition. The more good news is that you can tweak and manage your campaign after it's gone live. This means you can see how it's performing and then see how they're working for you. You'll be able to find some more advanced settings here too, such as negative keywords and dynamic keywords. We'll look at these options in more detail in the next video. For now though, we want to focus on the other most important aspect of running your Bing Ads campaigns, which is tracking the success of your adverts. In this case, that's going to mean looking at how your ads are performing for you. And there are some really advanced features here that actually go a bit above and beyond what you would have access to with AdWords. We'll delve into these in more detail in the next video. But for now, make sure you're watching your basic metrics like a hawk. Click the Reports tab here and then standard reports over here on the left hand side and select any one of the 18 different performance reports to get your statistics. You'll be able to see things like your average CPC, your cost per click, your average CPM, cost per impression, CTR, click-through rate and a whole lot more.